My guest tonight is perhaps the most sensitive and accomplished actor to hit Bollywood in recent times. He's also gorgeous. And he's single. Girls, eat your heart out. I have a rendezvous with Akshay Khanna. Hi, Akshay. Thank you, Simi, for having me on the show. I'm so glad you called me Simi. <laughs> <laughs> you call all your father's heroines auntie, no? Most people prefer to be called by their first name. I they think. do, yeah. but you say Rekha auntie, Hema auntie, Shabana auntie. Not Shabana auntie. No? no Shabana. Shabana. What did you say to Dimple auntie? Dimple I call Dimple. During Dil Jata, yeah. thank God. Can you imagine in between shots? <laughs> reverting to Dimple auntie. I loved uh, Dil Jata. Thank you. Tal, Border, Hamraz, Divangi. Lovely. You're a, you're a first rate actor. Well, strangely yeah. enough, I've, I've, never, I've never believed uh, that I'm a very good actor at all. I'm competent. You know, if you want to really stretch it, then maybe good. Not anything further than that. <laughs> Why are you saying this? Because that's what I believe. You know, I'm comparing myself with the the very best in the world, not only in our own country. And I don't think that my level of acting is, uh, even comes close. It doesn't look like acting. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I try my best to uh, make a shot look as natural as possible. But tell me, how much of it is planned and how much is spontaneous? I'm talking about, I, I mean, I hear about actors who talk about how they have to really work hard at, you know. Get into yeah, it. Yeah, get it. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't even understand that. I know this may sound horrible or arrogant or, uh, you know, whatever, but uh, I don't really have to work too hard to yeah. do what I do know. It's just, it's not something that I have to strain myself to get. Uh, it just comes very naturally to me and... Uh, I'll give you an example. What I meant was, in Dil Jata Hai, you have this shot when Dimple has just told you that, yes, you can paint her, and you go running. Now, even if you take that shot out of context, just show that shot of that guy running, you know that he is running with the ultimate excitement and impatience and speed and it's all there in that run, in that physical run. Is that spontaneous or is it planned? Spontaneous. I, I never planned. Is that never, right? Never. <laughs> but uh, you, you took no training? No. I'm one of those people who believes that acting can't be taught. You weren't even groomed for stardom in that sense. Totally not. Because, I mean, like lots of star sons, you know, they breathe, eat, sleep, think, mm. cinema. I think that's very important. I think it's very important to have some sort of interaction uh, with the film industry, with film people. And I'm not talking about just, you know, as a, as a visitor. I'm, I'm talking about someone who works, who's noticing, who's looking, uh, who's learning. Uh, and I think that's very important. But you didn't Which I never had. You didn't even see many Hindi films? Very few. <laughs> you didn't even know which stars, who was really... Yeah, I was totally uh, uninformed about uh, most, most things. Yeah. But uh, how did you know you could act? I just knew. How? I don't know, it was just, I knew. You didn't do, uh, do anything on stage? Oh yeah, I've done amateur stuff on stage in school. Uh, yeah, but nothing professionally. Did you try it out in front of the mirror? No. No. Come on, Akshay. No, honestly, I would have told you, no. Then how did you know that I will be able to reproduce? I knew. I knew that I could act. There was no doubt in my mind that I could do it uh, and do it well. I mean, I couldn't see myself doing anything else. Yeah, I did try for a while because I was embarrassed to voice my ambition uh, to be an actor. I, you know, I made excuses and I want to do this and that and study further, which of course was the last thing on my mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that was just to postpone telling, uh, you know, my friends and family and whoever meant anything to me that I, this is what I wanted to do. Were your parents surprised? Uh, I think my mom was surprised, not my father. Mom I was? I don't think so. Yeah, she was. She said to me, she said she was very agitated when you first broke the news to her. Mm, extremely. <laughs>
because she, she worried that, you know, it was like starting that whole cycle all over again. But she said then a voice in her said, let him go, leave him loose. She said today she has no regrets whatsoever. She's so proud of you. Yeah, that's true. You were only 18 when you first did your... I was 19. Very young. Too From young. School to stardom. Too young. Too young. What did it do to you? It's almost like a blur that whole time. It's not very, it's not very clear as a memory, you know, as in terms of what I went through or what I was going through. It's, it's all very much a blur. I, I was just uh, too young. I was not ready for it at all. Yeah, because the age of 19, you've got crores riding on you. You're in a profession that's very demanding. Mm -hmm. It can become overwhelming. Oh, yeah. It is very overwhelming. And uh, you have to be an extremely... Uh, uh, strong and uh, I think focused uh, person to be able to handle that I think uh, and I wasn't that way at all so is that the time when you built those walls around you well I don't know uh, I was totally unaware of what was expected of me mm. uh, of what my obligations were as a professional and as a as someone who's who to a certain extent is famous mm. or whatever you know stuff like that but you know I was totally clueless. Your father didn't tell you at that time? No, I think a lot of people told me a lot of things, but you know, I'm someone who, you know, does things on my own, really. I'm, I'm not someone who listens very easily. Because this was the time I remember Chintu, Rishi Kapoor had said that actually he's such a gifted actor, but he's a serious attitude problem. Mm -hmm. So does he. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell him that. <laughs> Does he have an attitude? Oh, no, yeah, of course. He has a major attitude problem. But he's such a great guy, and I love working with him. And the whole family, they're such wonderful people. But there's no question. That was the time when you built those walls around you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you were protecting yourself. No, I've never felt that I needed to protect myself. But you did have walls. I still do. Uh, I may have become uh, slightly better at... Uh, making them look a little transparent, but they're still there. You know, you're transparent on screen. In real life, do you find it as easy to show your emotions? No. Why? I'm quite the opposite, actually. I, I'm, I'm not someone who, in my personal life or in my day-to-day -day life, is able to be very expressive vis-a-vis uh, -vis my emotions. Right you're shy? Yeah, very. You're used to keeping your feelings inside yourself? Yep. But that's something I'd like to change. But even as a child, were you shy and did you keep your feelings bottled up? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. When your parents divorced mm -hmm. and your father went to uh, Rajneesh, uh, you, you lived with your mother at that time. That's correct. How old were you? When Dad went to the ashram? Yeah. Five, I think, five. Oh, very young. Mm. Did you understand what was happening? Uh, no, I don't think one can understand at that age. No. Fully. Uh, but we had a you know, fair understanding of what, you know, the logistics of things. Mm. But that's, fine. that's it, really. So how was it explained to you? I don't remember it ever being explained to me, actually. I was just... Uh, yeah, that's just the way it was, and you know, I don't think anybody really explained it to me. You know. No, I, 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 I can't remember. I mean, sure, it must have, mm. but I can't remember. Did you understand what was going on? I th yeah, I think yeah. At, you know, whatever you can understand at that age, well, that's I think I guess that's what we understood. But uh, I think that you can't understand these things at that age. You no, know, the point is that, that children accept so quickly, so mm -hmm. easily the status there and then. It's later on. Oh, yeah, much later, much, much later. It's only now that, you know, one really understands these things and uh, is able to accept them for what they are. You know, everybody has their own take and everybody has their own uh, way of dealing with things. But, you know, I, I certainly don't think it was a bad thing or a wrong thing. I think uh, when two people, uh, uh, when a relationship doesn't serve, the people who are involved. I don't think there's uh, any reason to uh, continue it, especially if, you're, if, you're, if the excuse is for something, someone else. I think 
you know i i'm i'm a great believer in uh, you know in being self centered in being selfish mm. vis a vis your own life i think because unless you are happy yeah. that you can't make other people happy and the longer you pretend and you continue to pretend to live a lie i think you start resenting the other person and you start resenting yourself and i think you know i think everyone should live for themselves i think most important most important and i think it takes guts to live for yourself very few people can really do it and and really do it i mean really do it you know on their own terms and i'm not saying it's good to hurt people and i'm not saying you know it's, you have to be this horrible selfish person but i think it's better than you know living for someone else mm -hmm. or you know just sacrificing your own mm -hmm. happiness i think that's true it's better to live alone or apart and happy than to live together and unhappy as yeah, well absolutely but as a kid did you miss your miss your father i mean oh, was terribly. it yeah. did terribly oh, of course of course of course how could i not oh, but on the other hand see we were such a happy i can't even tell you what a really really truly happy childhood secure happy uh wanting for nothing really that's because your your mother gave you so much emotional security absolutely you're very close to her yes i am i think that's that's you know that's so important that you can uh, depend on someone uh, unconditionally unconditionally does she does she criticize you when you do something wrong all the time all the time <laughs> not nonsense like what does she pick on you know anything you know rude to someone or don't call people back or you know answer, you know don't return call there are small small things you know. and i know what you say to her what mom don't be cluckish <laughs> all the time <laughs> what kind of fantasies preoccupied you as a teenager i think primarily becoming a star becoming an actor a big famous actor i think being like my dad and you know stuff like that uh i remember this one image that i used to always have he i don't know if he, i did the image of an actor going to a set from home driving to a set that just was huge for me can understand it yeah i thought it was so cool mm -hmm. i thought it was amazing as opposed to going anywhere else i mean going to a set making a movie cool real cool <laughs> i agree with you <laughs> but um, what sort of pin ups did you have i never had pin ups no pamela anderson and no, all that no 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 never really never walls were blank i think my brother used to have a couple of posters on the wall and i think he was very impressed with Jane Fonda at one point in time and who were your idols I never had an idol that was it for me I I find it very difficult to idolize What about crushes Lots of crushes lots of sweet crushes <laughs> I had a lot of crushes in school it should change every 6 months to a year then maybe it got you know a little longer and longer and longer Did you and Rahul ever fall for the same girl No No, 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 no. That's good. Yeah, that's real good. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of a relationship do you have with your brother? I used to copy him a lot. And I used to be teased about that all the time. Rahul decided to be an actor much before I did actually. So when, you know, when he decided to say, "Oh my god, you know, because I've always been accused of copying him." And I thought this would be like the, you know, the worst thing for me. Hmm. Because now I'm only becoming an actor because, because Rahul's Rahul's becoming. Yeah, so. But you're not buddy buddies. Buddy buddies as in we don't have the same friends. Yeah, you don't, don't hang out we together. We don't party together. You don't party know. together. Any bit of competition now between the two of you because Not you're both in the all. same line so to speak? Not at all. Not in the least. You know, you've had a a privileged childhood and a placid sort of a life. Mm -hmm. It's no great rags to riches stories or no or no um you know no dramatic change over in life, no great link ups or controversies or something. It's been you're really a uh, smooth sailing. you really a normal regular guy yep why then is it so difficult for people to figure you out <laughs> i don't know no because different people have different perceptions mm. of you 
And that's what I wondered. Are you different with different people? God, I, I, you know, I, I'd love to know. I mean, I have no idea. I mean, well, that's just maybe that's the way I am, you know. Okay. You look very soulful and vulnerable. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Quite vulnerable. Mm, thought so. What hurts you? What hurts me? Oh, lots of things. Uh, I'm very sensitive to people who uh, you know, I consider close to me. You know, the slightest thing. Yeah. Then I feel, oh, God, hurt me there. <laughs> you know, I, uh, you know, try, I'm very conscious about not hurting other people, actually. But sometimes I do. And, you know, I regret it later. And I vow never to do it again. And then sometimes you slip up. But uh, I, I don't think uh, I hurt people, especially the ones who are close to me very easily. Or a lot of the time. I'm very conscious about, because I, I am so sensitive, I am very conscious about other sensitivity. Other, other sensitivity, yeah. But you say sorry very easily. Yeah. It's so, it's such a nice thing. And it's so easy. And it's you know? freeing. Yeah, it's so freeing. Do you, do you get depressed? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but not very often. Uh, you know, no, I'm not. I'm not a you know, compulsive. Uh, you know, mm. brooder. Or no, 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 not at all. But yeah, occasionally you get depressed. You we know. all do. Yeah, of course, everybody does. Mm. Do you? Are you trusting? No. Once I trust, I trust. But, but it I takes know, time. I don't trust easily. I mean, it takes time to build a friendship. A friendship right. doesn't happen op overnight. But are you how, how quickly you're ready to give the person a chance to be a friend? Not very quickly. Not, you, so not very open to m meeting too many people? And I like uh, uh, meeting people and getting to know people. It's just that I don't have the skills to do it. That's it. So, you know, there's, there's a big difference of not wanting to and being closed, as opposed to not being able to. Killer instinct? Work-wise, definitely. Yeah. Anything else, no. But are you a good loser? No. No. What does it do to you to lose? I don't like to lose. I mean, I don't like to fail. I don't like to lose. And uh, uh, it's not something that's acceptable to me at all. It's not something I can just leave, you know, okay, I fail, fine, let's move on. Bothers you? Yeah, constantly. You're stubborn? Yeah. Very stubborn? No. Nope. Little stubborn. Yep. <laughs> I'm stubborn about small things. Small things like my whole persona. Small things like <laughs> <laughs> like what I eat. Well, that's okay. It's going yeah. inside you. Yeah. You might as well be stubborn about that. Yeah. Are you a dreamer? All the time. And I also do believe that whatever you think is what what will happen and what you will become. And so it's very important to to be conscious about what you're thinking about and what you say and what you do because that is what is going to be manifest in your life in the future. So tell me actually what are the important things for you right now? My work. That's it. The best, I just want to be, you know, continue doing what I'm doing and, uh, you know, just be the best that I can be. What about love? How important is that in your life? Extremely important. I think uh, I'd love to have someone in my life mm. right now, but I don't. Uh, so, you know, Why it's not this big sob story. But Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've, it's, it's, it's all about finding the right person. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's, you know, you know I'm not just going to you know, go out with someone who you know, I really don't like. What kind of a girl won't you fall for? <laughs> uh, I like I like people who are alive and you know who are you know bubbly. Extroverted. Yeah. Is brains important to you or, or looks? Oh yeah, I think they're both important. You know, I love women who are feminine, but at the same time, you know, lot, you know, I've got lots of energy. I like I like people like that. I think it's just all about finding the right person and uh, being happy, really. But you've been in love before. If you can call that love, I don't know. Nothing serious. I never really had a serious relationship in my life, really. You're vulnerable? You're scared of being hurt? <sighs> Could be. I don't know. I don't think that it is. 
but could uh, it could be. Yeah. You never know. And also, maybe you're a little wary because you have seen a relationship at home, you know, not work out. And you. I don't think these things are conscious to me. I think, yeah. if at all, they're unconscious, subconscious. But it can affect the overall, uh, you know, attitude. I don't deny that at all. It could. But I'm not saying it's the reason why, no. you know, there's no one in my life to deny. I don't think that's, that's, that's... Would you be afraid of making a commitment? You know, I have, I have very strong views as to, you know, uh, the kind of vows that people make mm -hmm. and the kind of commitments that people make. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they're necessarily good. Like, for example, I mean, if, if, I, if I'm uh, going to marry you today and I'm, I have to make a vow, you know, that I will love you for the rest of my life. I can't, I, I can't honestly say that. You know, and you're, you know, right from the beginning, you're, ma you're made to say something which, how can you say it 30 years from now that I'm actually going to love you like I love you today? I can't. I can't say it no. totally honestly. So, you know, I have certain issues with these things, but, uh, I mean, you know, I, I, you know, I don't want to hurt people yeah. or, you know, or, because these are very personal things. I mean, everybody has to make a choice and everybody has to, you know, believe in certain things. And this is what I believe in. I mean, it's just mm -hmm. a small thing, but, yeah. you know, you're talking about commitment That's and true. stuff. So there are different kinds of commitment. But you've not been through heartbreak. Can't say that I have, no. No, no disappointment, touch wood, or heartbreak no, so no. far. No, but I'd like to. I'd like to go through that. I'd like to go through everything. Listen, you're working with so many beautiful women. Yeah. I mean, only Aishwarya, Misha, so mm. many lovely girls. How come you don't succumb to their charms? No, I do. You do? I'm mm. glad. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I'm very fond of all my leading ladies, and they're, they're wonderful, beautiful. Creme de la creme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then why aren't you involved with any of them? I don't know, Simi. I mean, I can't put my finger on anything, you know. I mean, it's... You know, nothing's happened. Nothing's, nothing's happened. Maybe you're not letting it happen, actually. Possibly. But I don't think so. I think so. Maybe. They have such yeah. high opinions of you. I hold them in very high esteem. On my show, Amisha had said that about how great Akshay is. Oh, and I feel the same way about her. I think she's an absolutely wonderful person. And uh, sh she's really got so much to offer. And, you know, she's... she's Amisha. Mm. And her whole family, they're such nice people. Genuinely but nice that people. Amisha was saying that your family is so nice. We went on a couple of outdoors together and we really clicked, you know, clicked and it was great. Oh, good. I'm so glad. I mean, you both admire each other, but mm -hmm. nothing's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I believe the girl who's really going to get you is the girl who makes you laugh. Ah, uh, possibly. <laughs> well, I hope you find her, find her soon. And I hope that you get all the artistic triumphs you deserve. Thank you. I really enjoyed talking to you, Akshay. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming on my show. Thanks for the show. Thank you.